hi guys it's Sophia here from Forest Crafts and welcome today we are making this card um I am a little bit obsessed with feathers at the minute um and I've kind of done this two-tone thing which I quite enjoy um if you have the Stampin' Right markers this would be a brilliant one for that um but I don't I just have my inks so let's get started and i'll show you what guys what i've done so i'll give you the measurements of the cards um first so we have a piece of whisper white a piece of um, cardstock and then a piece of um thick whisper white this is going to be a traditional fold card today so this is just a piece of A4 cut in half and scored in half. It's just cut in half on the long ways rather than the short. So I've realised that that's not the colour that I want. That is Bumblebee and I want so saffron. So hang on a minute, guys, whilst I cut a piece, if I have any left. Yes, I do. Just, yeah. Uh, this is the colour I want. Yes, this is the colour I want. I don't want Bumblebee. As beautiful as Bumblebee is, it is a new in colour. Um, I don't want that. So, give me a second, guys. You will now be able to see how I cut down my colours. So, which I'm pretty sure I've already done on this channel once before. So we're going to cut this at 10 centimetres, so make sure it is level, and I might as well cut all three pieces whilst I'm here, it just saves me some time later. Um, so again, 10 centimetres, and then you're left with this little strip. Don't throw it away, it will come in handy. Um, there's all sorts of things you can do with that. As well as piece, paper piercing, a uh, piece in when you make a mistake, like I've done before. <laughs> and then we'll cut this at 14.3 centimeters. Now, because the color is thicker than the, the normal white, um, but you can still cut two. I wouldn't do necessarily do more than two um, pieces of paper with it. I don't know how it would coat, but two seems to be all right. So one, two, three, and then. And then this is the most economical way, so you don't have much waste, because all you're left with is that out of an A4 piece of paper. And then you've got four card bases for each products. So let's stick that in my stash. Right, there we go. <laughs> so, so yeah, this is 10 centimeters by 14.3. And then that is nine and a half by 13.8. So it's half a centimeter different. So we're going to be stamping off, so I have got some spare paper today. I don't want to get it thing wet, not wet. Um, what's the word I'm looking for, guys? Messy. So we have our so saffron and our balmy blue. Now you do need to go extra careful with this because. You don't want to contaminate the colours. Piece of hair on that. Hang on, guys, I've got a piece of hair in my... There we go. A fibre. So we are using for the feather is the Tasteful Touches. And then you also see there's this sentiment and these leaves are come from the Forever Blossoms. Um, snap sets. So start with the feather 
Now you can decide which way you want this. Um, it is tricky, so my head might come in the way. It's not. It's not tricky. It's just lining it up. Now I've gone with the blue at the top and the yellow at the bottom. Um, I think I'll go the other way around this time. So what I do is I just kind of line up the bottom of the stamp pad. I'm sorry if my head's in the way. With the corner. Give it a good um, press. And then turn it around. And then I kind of lift up. Kind of see where it is. And I missed a bit. There we go. So I don't know if you guys can see that. But then you just stamp it anywhere. We're going to go there first. There we go. See? And there's no contamination on each um, block then. As I said, if you had the stamp and write markers, this would be really easy to do. Because you can just um, colour each in. And you'd be able to see it a bit better. Now, these won't necessarily be perfect every time. Um, which is okay. It doesn't need to be perfect, I don't believe. I, I quite like it when it does have the gaps in it. Um, I said not all of mine before did. Doing quite well with this one, keeping it together. But you see, I'm not getting anything on there. It's just... As long as you can kind of remember where your markings are. That's the most important thing. Just got my hand in the blue there. Might be going off shot with this, so I do apologise. See that one went a bit over. That's fine. It's absolutely fine as long as it's not on the thingy itself. That's fine. Um, uh, and we do one more. I don't have an actually stamped off on this. I did get a little bit of yellow there, but all you kind of need to do for that is just with a piece of scrap, stab it off and it comes off. See? And there it's gone. So yeah. If you did get a little bit on there, it's not an issue, I wouldn't worry about it. So, you will need a cleaning tool of some sort, whether you use a chamois or a stamping mist like I do. I just like my stamping mist. I'm going to clean this off here. So, we only have one uh, leaf. I do that in the blue and the yellow. Saying that, no I didn't. I used a different leaf. I used two leaves. What other leaf did I <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm trying to... Ah, no I didn't. I didn't use it from that. I used it from the uh, prize peony. That's where I use them from. 
Yes. So, that's fine. We're just going to use that on the small and so you won't need well you still do need to clean enough for the cleaning thing because you still need it <laughs> it's on an obnoxiously large block but that's fine. so we will need this you still will need it because i've done them in blue and yellow but so again, just kind of wherever you feel like putting one, just stuck my fingernail in it. I then I will do the yellow in this one. I feel like I need another blue somewhere. <laughs> I say there's no rhyme or rhythm, but I like having it even. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Let's do one up here. There we go. I'll be there forever, otherwise. I have to stop myself. So, I'm trying to tidy up as I go along, guys. I don't know if it's always working right. We're going to leave the so saffron out because that is using a stamp set. That's using sentiment, sorry, from um, Forever Blossoms. That's one. Also, again, a piece of spare scrap whisper white. So I'm just going to dig this in. Um, turn it that way. Move that out of the way in case I get anything on it. Because it's me. And I always do. Sorry if my head's in the way. It's out there. And then we're just going to use this punch here. Which I can't remember the name of it. It's a label punch. If I can get it open. Stick that in. Get it center. That's not center. Sorry guys. There we go. Has got a hello on the back of it, but it's fine. It's all good. So we're gonna pop that up on some dimensionals. Let's put that away before I stick my hand in it or nail. So stick. I usually stick three. It's probably not necessary, but I don't want it to. Like if I put it in the post somewhere, I don't want it to um, like dip or anything. Or oh, I don't want it to dip over time. I can't get this on. There we go. Apologies if you can hear noise in the background. All of a sudden it's got really busy outside. My windows aren't the best. And it's really windy as well, which is annoying. So we're going to stick that round about there. It doesn't have to be in the middle. It is poking off a little bit, but that's fine because it'll go against this. And the back end. Although it just does fit. I put it too far over, but that's fine. So we're going to use some um, liquid glue. glue. I can't speak. Um, you can use any kind of adhesive to put this on. I'm just not 
taking a chance with Tape Runner because me, Tape Runner, on camera, we're not friends when I'm on camera. So, yeah. Got some glue sticking up there. Just need to move it over a tiny bit. There we go. So, as we said earlier, oh, let's take hands out. Uh, no. So, we're using a traditional fold card today. So, we're just going to fold that over. There's my bone folder. My hands are sticky. I've got glue all over them. Joyful. So yeah, and then we'll just stick that on. God. I, the thing is, because I've got a thing about corners sticking down, that it all spills over a little bit. I've got this fear of corners not sticking down. And then it all lifting up. <laughs> so I always glue too close to the corner. And that spills over. Right. And there we go. Again, another simple, simple card. I did, there was another leaf on that one, but... It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So, I hope you guys liked the, um, that's not straight. Oh, guys. It had to be one thing, didn't it? It had to be something. There we go sort of straighter <laughs> anyway there we go hope you guys like the card um if you did like this video please do give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and also hit that bell button so you know when i am putting a video up so we do have here at forest Cross, i see we it's only me um do have a goal of getting to 100 subscribers by the end of july so, fingers crossed, it might be a bit of a push, but please do share my channel out. Please do subscribe if you're not already, and it really help me out. It doesn't cost you anything, just click the button, and then, yeah. So, hope you guys liked it. Enjoy the rest of your day, and until next time, bye.